Imagine this, you're a developer, late at night, bleary-eyed, adding a dependency to your project. You type requests to add the popular Python library, but in your haste, accidentally miss the S before the T. Now you may think that harmless, but sadly it's not, because somewhere out there, a cyber criminal has already registered that misspelled package, laced it with malicious code, and is quietly waiting for someone, anyone, to stumble upon it. And that, my friends, is typo squatting. Now, to be fair, it's not new, but it has evolved. You see, once upon a time, it was just tired developers making these mistakes. But now, with AI coding assistance, who's to say that your favorite LLM trained on vast web data isn't confidently suggesting a misspelled package to order your developers, turning a simple slip into a company-wide epidemic that's cheap to execute, invisible to install, and frighteningly scalable. Now, there is, of course, good news. We can fight back, not with pitchforks and paranoia, but with precision and pragmatism. Automated tools, for example, can scan dependencies and flag suspicious packages, especially those that mimic trusted libraries with subtle misspellings. We also have private registries that offer curated mirrors of known good packages, cryptographic signatures and verified maintainers that ensure code provenance, and good old-fashioned human vigilance, double-checking package names before every install. Because our software supply chains aren't just technical constructs, they're trust networks. And trust, as it turns out, is brittle. One misplaced character, one unchecked dependency, and the whole thing can unravel. So, next time you add a dependency, pause and look twice. Because in the age of typo squatting, attention to detail isn't just pedantry, it's protection. <laughs>